Welcome back to the Ranger Shop. My name is Zach. In this episode, we're going to talk about uh, installing and mounting uh, winch on our Rangers. So let's first talk about why I went this route. Why did I install a removable winch? Well, a, a couple reasons. First of all, I didn't want to add the weight of a big heavy steel bumper in here for my winch plate. Uh, second, I r rarely use the winch. I do mostly uh, off-road camping, a little bit of overlanding. So I'm not doing lots of extreme 4x4 and so I don't need a winch all the time. Also, I didn't want the, my winch always exposed to the elements. You know, out here with the rain, the snow, especially in Ontario here with the salt your winch is exposed all the time to these elements so this way I can remove this stick it in the back of my truck I'm gonna build a bracket where I can hold it in there and then whenever I get stuck I can pull it out I also prefer this style over the front strictly front mounted winch because I could just take it to the back plug it in back there put it in my hitch and pull myself out backwards I do a lot of solo camping so if you're by yourself, you don't have someone pulling you out backwards, you need to pull, you need to winch yourself backwards. So that's why this thing will bolt on the back, slides right into my hitch. I've got my plug back there and then I can winch myself backwards or forwards, whatever the case would be. I also thought that this might be a good idea once I get uh, it installed on my trailer. So then I could move my trailer around with it too, if needed. So let me just give you a quick overview of the hint hitch setup or the winch setup and then uh, I'll discuss a little bit more detail how I did it. Okay, I'm just going to give you a real quick overview because I'm going to get into detail when I get into the video of how I did it. So basically it's 13,000 pound winch is what it says but I would say it's more like 5,000 pound. It's just off of uh, Amazon clearance. Pick that up. Pick this up from Princess Auto or Harbor Freight type idea. Uh, the hitch inside, it's a 5,000 pound hitch off of a, um, a truck that I just cut up and stuck in there. Um, up here, I've got my fuse block. What I did is I bought an amp wire kit here so I could get the number four gauge that could run all the way to the back of the truck. I didn't run a negative all the way back to the back of the truck and I probably will at some point, but at this point I didn't. I just ran another negative here off of here and down to the frame so I just put it right down into here you can see I just cleaned off the the frame there and put it in there for now after I'll seal that up cover it up so that it'll uh, won't rust heading to the back There's the connection there. The wires under there. Pretty straightforward. So let's get into it. Let me show you how what I did. So to make this project work, I've got this hint hitch here. Just bought it off of Amazon. It doesn't fit anything that I know of. Um, anyways, I'm gonna make that. I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these brackets off the end here and then slide them in a little bit. I think I might actually have to take that bracket and put it on that side to line up the hitch where I want it. So that's where I'm going to make this so it fits the frame of the Ranger. Then I've got this uh, winch holder here that slides into the, to the hitch, just the receiver end. And then I've got this winch that I bought off of Amazon, half off Amazon clearance. I think it was like 175 bucks or 150 bucks. Anyways, these are the p parts. And then I got a chunk of angle iron over there, quarter inch angle iron, to reinforce this. So let's see how this works. Um, just going to pull the bumper off the truck and get it kind of fitted up there. Probably take the bumper off the truck and then cut these brackets off and see how this is going to look. But I want it to fit, like when you're looking at the truck and you see the, the slot of the bumper, I want it to fit right in the middle of that. I don't want it below the bumper like a lot of these hitches are. I want, them, I want it right in that slot. So let's see how this works.
here it is in there I just got it mocked up right now so a few things that I discovered is I'm gonna have to because these brackets right here are um, on top of the frame there's not enough room for the whole unit to fit in through the, between here so I le left them loose so that they'll bend like or they'll just sit like that and then as you push it up you can hook it on over top of the frame so I'm gonna weld it in place just like that and I figure the welding that's good but then this is a solid plate that it'll be pulling against so the chances that it would rip this plate out of here are pretty pretty slim it'll make it a lot more strong a lot stronger so that's it right about there that's right where I wanted it I'll pull the pieces out just so you can see uh, the setup so these are the brackets here that were originally on the hitch but they were faced on the opposite side like that to go onto the frame so I cut them off spun them around and I'm gonna mount them like this so that this hitch can go as far back as possible just cut them down to fit cut this down to fit in between now this is gonna go in there like that to get this to fit in you got to have it loose it's got to go up like this slides up onto the frame and then once it clicks on top of the frame then everything's locked in place and I'll weld these two pieces together so so now I'm just gonna test fit it again clean up my joints for welding and then weld it in place so here's our finished product just show you what I did before I go and throw the bumper on so I threw this piece of angle iron here on top just to tie in the top of the hitch the receiver I tied that into the, the subframe here welded that all up solid so that's welded solid and then those brackets in there I ended up welding them solid to the frame here and then across across the top and then I welded the box like the actual this chunk of tubing in here to the brackets and then I put another piece of angle iron on the bottom here and welded this to the frame and then to these brackets too but it's welded in pretty solid and these brackets are behind these ears still like the ears are still on here on the frame so for that to pull out it'd have to rip this whole portion right off of the frame and if it's that bad I think it's gonna break a bolt anyways so so that's it now I just drilled the spot where I want to put my um, winch plug right up here on my bumper and then uh, it'll leave room for the light I got a 15 inch light to go in the middle so let's get started on the wiring I'll get the bumper on and then we'll get started on the wiring okay so let's discuss uh, wiring this thing up now so the mounts in there the winch is all mounted up so now I'm just worrying about the wiring so I pre-drilled the bumper for a couple uh, holes for this to just mount to the bumper. And then I've got this plug. These are just the knockoff Anderson connectors uh, off of uh, Amazon. So I've got this plug and I know they're bigger than what I need. Like the, the lugs are much bigger than what the size I need. But they were the only ones that came with the handle and I wanted the handle for uh, connecting the wiring so anyways let's talk about how we're going to do this then I've already cut the wire to size roughly where I want to have it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip this back far enough that this will fit all the way in there and then a little bit of uh, wire back so what I'll do normally what I do is I strip and I leave like maybe um, uh, a quarter inch band on here strip this all off and then that band I'll pull off and it'll hold the wires all straight just to the very end and then I can slide it in there nice and clean once I get that in there I'm going to take it just set it here on my vise and I just punch this down here I've just got this uh, brass punch 
and I'll just punch that down just to hold that wire in there a little bit. Once it's punched down on there, I'll just clamp it in the vise here, have that in there, and then I will fill this up with um, solder. So I'll solder, tin the wire, and solder this. It'll, it'll all be nice and, and uh, a good connection after it's done. After that's done, then we'll put on some heat shrink tubing on there and then we should be good. That should be a nice clean connection that uh, will never break and it won't, uh, it'll be fine. Let's get that done. 